All right, it's the Wednesday morning. Good morning, everybody. This is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penner. I just want to give you an update on what's going on with Earl this morning. Earl uh, maintained its strength pretty well overnight, but it lost about uh, 10 miles per hour in its max winds. Uh, that was kind of expected. I do not expect the storm to, to gain strength or even maintain its strength. It probably will go through a slow weakening trend. It had a little wobble to the west last night. It moved west-northwest briefly, but now it's back on a northwesterly track. And we're waiting for that churn more to the north. You can see a very well organized central dense overcast and central core of the storm. But the outside of the storm, we're beginning to see that dry air I talked about yesterday working its way into the storm. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at this dry air getting pulled all the way around the storm. And it's actually, I would say, three quarters of the way uh, being almost wrapped around the center part of the storm. Uh, let's take a look at the water vapor. This is the water vapor loop close up on the floater. Look how dry that air is in the mid and upper levels and look how far it's made it around. It's almost made it about 270 degrees around. If it should continue to wrap around and it isolates the core, we may continue to see a slow a weakening trend uh, with the storm. I really think that's a, that's a possibility. We could see this drop to 115 or 110 mile per hour winds later today. The other good news is here, look at the trough back to the northwest. It's picking up speed and starting to move pretty good. So uh, it's going to start running into this southwesterly flow out ahead of the trough and start kicking it back to the north northeast. Still going to be too close to call for the outer banks. They're definitely going to have a pretty big impact with maybe up to 60 mile an hour winds and some uh, storm surge and some sound side flooding so still think the Outer Banks are going to have to probably evacuate most of those islands out there as we go through the next uh, 12 hours or so. Here's the latest track not a lot of change the Hurricane Center for good reason has not changed the track very much at all because essentially the models have been very consistent let me throw those models up there right now and you can see uh, if anything, we're still right in the middle of the guidance envelope, maybe a little to the right. Some of the models did shift to the west overnight, but I think that was because of the little westward jaunt we had. But if you look at the track, I mean, this goes out to, you know, 72 hours or so. They're pretty consistent. So once you get up here past 72 hours, uh, that we have some issues. And really, I think New England, if anywhere in the United States is, is going to see a landfall, it's probably going to be New England. So uh, New England, I would be on guard and the Outer Banks, but... This thing's going to be picking up speed here shortly. Speaking of that, let's talk about the potential uh, wind impacts. Here's your probabilities for hurricane force winds. And right now, the Outer Banks, if you look at that little light green, that's in the 20 to 30 percent chance of seeing hurricane force winds. Most of eastern North Carolina, you're in the, the 5 to 10 percent chance. As far as tropical storm force winds, uh, you could see the Outer Banks are in a 50 to 60 percent probability almost touching 70 percent to see tropical storm force winds so that's a pretty high probability we will have a tropical storm uh, type or at least tropical storm type conditions on the outer banks and even the tropical storm force winds may make it as far west as uh, richmond and anson county i mean this is a pretty good circulation with a trough swinging in with a front and high pressure we'll have a pretty good pressure gradient on the northwest side so uh, that's the latest on earl i still think we're going to see some slow weakening the good news is that the speeds are down to 125 miles per hour pressure is up to four or 943 i would look for that trend to continue later today if anything changes i'll give you an update and of course we'll have complete details starting today at 4 5 5 30 and 6 on news channel 36 i'll see you then